Hey guys, Pete Weintraub, permanent weight loss specialist here. And normally I'd pose a question at this point, but I just saw something on the news about weight loss that really pissed me off. So today, we're going to have a nice heart to heart about why you should never, under any circumstances, consider a certain weight loss strategy. I was making food before and my parents had the Today Show on in the background. The term weight loss was stated on the television and I figured I'd, I'd turn around and watch a segment. While my food was burning, one of the co-anchors was interviewing a surgeon who was discussing a non-scarring surgical procedure to shrink your stomach and thus help you lose weight for the rest of your life. Of course, there would be a two-week recovery period necessitating a liquid diet, after which you must eat extremely small portions or else risk rupturing whatever stomach shrinkage had occurred, but the results over, over time are, in his words, phenomenal. Oh boy, I'm getting pissed again just thinking about it. Here's the deal, I don't care if you have 20 pounds to lose or 100 plus pounds to lose. It doesn't matter if you're in a place where you can go run at 5k tomorrow or you can barely walk around the block today. What matters is that this, like so many other quick fix, bullshit diet plans, workout programs, whatever, offers just that, a quick fix. Of course, after a procedure like this, your life is altered forever. Eat a portion too large and you risk undoing the whole thing. These procedures buy into the smoke and mirror show that is calorie counting and portion control. I remember I once spoke to another weight loss specialist about this very issue on my podcast. He made the following statement in defense of calorie counting. If you're stranded on a desert island and food is scarce, you're definitely going to lose weight. Well, duh. Concentration camp residents went through the same thing during the Holocaust. That certainly doesn't mean that their weight loss was either healthy or sustainable. Our bodies have very specific biological processes. We metabolize different macronutrients, the fats, proteins, and carbs of the world differently. 1,200 calories of carbs doesn't impact our bodies the same way 1,200 calories of protein does, which still doesn't impact us the same way as 1,200 calories of fat. And if we deprive our bodies of an adequate amount of food for too long, as is what often happens to folks who count calories or points or just minimize their portions too often, our bodies go into a starvation mode, where from that point forward, everything we eat, good, bad or indifferent, will be stored as fat. I've had clients in the past who had had some sort of weight loss surgery and still gained the weight back. Months of agony recovering, a forced minimalist diet, and thousands of dollars wasted. For what? Because they didn't want to do the work themselves. Here's a realization that I hope everyone can agree on. If you have a significant amount of weight to lose and you're a candidate for weight loss surgery, I just use air quotes for those of you listening to the podcast, it took a significant amount of time and, let's face it, neglect in order to get to that point. Whatever positive energy you had was put into other areas of your life, but as a result, your health suffered. This isn't sexy, but if it took time to gain all the weight, it's going to take time to lose it. The healthiest range for weekly weight loss is anywhere from 1 to 3 pounds. So, if you have a 2 pound per week weight loss goal and you have 100 pounds to lose, it should take you about a year to get there if you stay on track the whole time. Trying to lose that much weight in a shorter period of time can result in extra skin, stretch marks, and a whole lot of stress on your heart and vital organs from your body not being able to gradually transform and adapt to a newer, healthier you. Of course, success doesn't happen in a straight line. There will be bumps in the road, but what's most important is that you establish consistency. Keep as much data as possible too. This includes body measurements, body fat percentage if you have access to calipers or some form of measurement for body fat, and progress photos. Also consider some of the physical and mental changes you'll experience by doing things the right way. Heightened moods, more energy, reduction of aches and pains, and of course, fitting into your clothing for the first time in a long time. The number of benefits is literally endless. 
The moral of the story, if you considered weight loss surgery in the past or you're considering it now, please reconsider. Save yourself the money and the restrictions and just make a few simple tweaks. It may take a while, but if this is something you really want, there's a better, healthier way of reaching your goals. So if you're ready to take that first step on your health and weight loss journey, then you're really going to want to download my free report. With 10 years of experience, seven different fitness and nutrition certifications, and a sustained weight loss of 100 pounds, I think you know a thing or two about this permanent weight loss thing. This report will provide you with the five strategies I personally used to lose 100 pounds and keep them off. These are the same five strategies that I teach my permanent weight loss clients, and they're the basis to losing weight and getting healthy once and for all. To get your free copy, please go to weightlossbypete.com slash five, that's the number five, strategies. That's weightlossbypete.com slash five strategies. Until tomorrow.